guys so for today's video we're going to be playing with some stuff from Incredible so basically it's nail zinc but they come up with a bunch of makeup um I've seen a lot of like stuff going around with this never ever tried it always really wanted to some of it looked really interesting and stuff so I have two eyeshadows a jelly spray which I'm excited for a body blur a highlighter and a couple of lipsticks so I have tried out two of the lipsticks well it's a lip gloss and a lipstick so I will give you my quick little rundown and swatches of the product as well so the first product we have is the Listen Hard Girl so this is a real neon lip paint in the shade she's arrived and it's this gorgeous colour like it's absolutely stunning and I was like proper neon it's going to look so nice like parties clubbing whatever you're sort of into and um oh no it's like really really patchy like so I went in with the first layer and I was like okay maybe we can like let it dry build it up and maybe we can get it to be better and it is a bit better but it's still like you can see like loads of like sort of gaps in between it and stuff so I don't really recommend this even though it is a gorgeous colour maybe the other colour is really like different to this one I believe it's like I don't know if it's an orangey shade or not I can't remember but um yeah I'm actually really disappointed with this so to me this is this is already a no-go <laughs> and then we also have the roller baby so this is in rolling like honey so hopefully you remember these from your childhood it is a gloss with a little roller ball on it um I'm also disappointed in this as well because it's not glossy enough like I'm a gloss girl I love a gloss but I want it to be high shine gloss and when I see like a lot of pictures and stuff on Instagram I think oh it looks so shiny like why is mine not like that so maybe if you like a subtle hint of like shine then maybe you might enjoy this but I feel like I just whack on a lip balm and it does an even better job than this so I am disappointed with this and I was super excited because I used to love the roller glosses when I was younger. I mean, even sort of smells like it as well, like, yeah. And I'm just so, so unhappy with it. But hopefully we can get some better luck out of these products that we're going to use now. So first up we have the Prime Protect and Set with your incredible Good Day Jelly Spray. So obviously it is a Prime Protect and Set. So we're going to prime the skin first using this. I can get it out of the box. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It looks... Oh, oh, it's really thick. Like, it's not shaking or anything. Uh, this is going to be super intriguing. So, obviously, it's got, like, a spray. This spray reminds me of the Pixie Glow Mist. Like, this spray is typically typical like that as well. So, I'm just going to... Okay, I'm surprised, like it just looks so thick, but it's coming out like a spray. This is so strange. So I'm just gonna spray that on. That is an aggressive spray art, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um because it's not like you can shake it. I'm just gonna look how thick that is. Oh so I'm just gonna take a bit of my hands and just smooth it over the face. Um Maybe it's good as a primer, but I do not see me using this as a setting spray. Like, that mister. Woo! Got big chunks of jelly coming at my face. It feels nice and sticky, which is really, really nice. Um, I don't know how I feel about using it as a setting spray, just because it's so thick. And when it was spritzing out, it was chunky. Like, no, I'm not about that life. Like, the first thing, I'm all fine and mist. Like the pixie glow mist um the case setting spray things like that um but maybe it's really good as primer it feels nice and sticky um I feel like nice and sort of hydrated not overly hydrated but yeah we'll see how it goes we'll put on the foundation and everything else and then i'll be back to apply the rest of the bits that i've bought Okay, so I'm super worried about spraying this on my face again. But I thought while we've got just the foundation on and stuff, um, just like a little bit of bronzer, it should be alright. Like there's nothing on the eyes or anything. So I'm just going to sort of like wipe the nozzle. Maybe the nozzle's a bit thick. And let's try going in again with this. Oh no, it is so chunky. Just going to... 
blend it in with the Eco Tool blender. I'm not going to use this after um, to finish off the like face, like to finish off with a setting spray because I'm not having wet particles everywhere. Like it's okay if you can like sort of dab it in with a beauty blender, but obviously now I'm going in with like eyeshadow and stuff. I don't want to get on all over that. So, I'm going to move on to the You Glow Girl Iridescent Jelly. So this is for eyes, cheeks and lips. And I got the shade Peach out. They have some like quite unique shades. Like they have like um, like quite an iridescent one. And then a, I think they have a champagne one as well. Usually they're quite odd shades. So this is what it looks like. So it's like this peachy pink. Which I'm really into like peaches at the minute. Like I love a peach gloss and stuff. So it comes with a seal, which is nice. Now I have to get the seal off. This looks really, really pretty. I love a jelly highlighter. I'm just like, oh, you shake it all about. So I'm just going to dab in with my finger. This feels a lot oilier than I use the Makeup Revolution one, which is gorgeous, by the way. Um, this feels a lot more oilier, so maybe it's more of a nice um sheen like a sort of dewy more than a glittery one so i'm just taking that on the high points of the face so the tops of the cheeks the cupid's bow tip of the nose and then a little bit down the nose so in this lighting i can't really see that it's got like a peachy tint to it I can definitely see there's sort of like a wet dewiness, which is really, really nice. But it'd be nice if that peachy sort of colour came through a bit more. Maybe it looks different in more daylight, like more on the outside or, you know, a ring light kind of thing. Um, I don't know, like I'm not really seeing it and I'm, I mean, I'm going in pretty heavy handed with it. I'm going to take a little bit on the brow bone, so I'm going to dip it into a brush and see how we get on. So this is the Crown Brush C510, which just fit underneath the brow bone. I don't know how I feel about that, I'm, I'm not really seeing it on the face. I much prefer the Makeup Revolution one, and I'm pretty sure it's like £4 and this. I can't even remember how much this was. Um, but yeah, like £4 over saying. I think this was like 8 quid, which ain't bad, but £4, £8, like what would you rather pay? Okay, so we're going to move on to eyes now. Um, I'm having a bit of a difficult time with this brand. Like, I was super excited because all their stuff looks really sort of, like, unique and a bit fun. But, I don't know. Anyway, so these are the lipstick eye pigments. So, I picked up two shades. So I picked up, uh, where are we? Kind of care, kind of don't. And in sunshine yellow. So, this is gen yellow. And they have like this gorgeous blue shade. So I'm hoping if these work out, I will pick up that blue shade. Um, but I'm going to just do a really simple look. So I'm just going to keep the glitter on top. And then like maybe do a yellow lower lash line. Um, just like a bit of fun, a bit of pop of colour. So they come in these little pots. The same as like the jelly highlighter. So I'm just going to start off by taking it on a brush. So this is the Spectrum A16. Um, just because I want to get it right in and it's better for me to do it that way first. But obviously we will go in and pack it on with the finger see how we get on. Because obviously a brush isn't always this. Okay, the brush is just moving around the product so we're not even going to bother. So I'm just going to take my finger. This looks super pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look how gorgeous this is. Hopefully this is picking up on camera. It is gold gorgeousness like it's so pretty so these really remind me of the tart chrome paints like their chrome paints are very like bright but this is ba bam like this is bright and it looks super super pretty so i'm just going to take this little crown brush so this is the c511 and we're just going to sort of run it through the crease a little bit just so it's nice and blended because obviously we've got nothing in the crease but i just want to it out a little bit be nice and sort of smoky even though we've only got one shade going on so now we're going to go into the yellow shade which was a gen yellow so it's the same thing but this is a matte 
shade like look how beautiful this looks Ooh, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little real techniques brush so this is a fine liner brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this into the waterline I usually I do do eyes before face but I thought how bad can the fallout be but there is a lot of fallout a lot so if you're going to use these definitely do eyes first I'm going to take a little bit on that same brush and I'm going to take it quite low as well because I really want to smoke at the lower lash line with like loads of yellow so I might take a yellow shadow as well just to really sort of get it to pop just smudge that out with a crown brush C431 you have to work pretty fast with this because it looks like it's setting already a little bit so I'm just going to take the Sabaitai palette so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take if I can open it this bright yellow shade up in the corner um, on that little crown brush C511 um, just to really sort of smoke it out a little bit because it was pretty difficult to smoke but I feel like if you've got a yellow like it's just really going to add to it especially if you want it in the obviously the waterline I think it looks super pretty in there it makes my eyes look quite blue I, I like this shade I like this look a lot so I'm just gonna do that these I'm super impressed with if they last all day oh yeah mama these are good okay so I just applied some top lash mascara I'm not gonna go in with bottom just because I like how the yellow looks on my lashes so now we're gonna move into a different kind of lip so this is a semi lat semi lat semi matte lip click so this is in the shade press nude so obviously you have to I'm guessing push it up and the product comes up I don't get the fact that you can't twist it like what's the point of being pushy like we're so past that now like no it's all about twisty pens so I'm just gonna apply this to the lips oh it's a lot more pinky than I thought it would be and the tube looks quite dark oh it is quite oily um like super oily so we'll see how it wears but I can't see this because it's a semi matte and it's looking pretty glossy which I ain't mad about um but the only issue is like there's a lot of gunk on the side obviously because it is quite rich in oil so there must be a lot of like avocado oil this oil and that oil in it um so yeah I'm not too sure about that that's going to come off quickly but we also had this glitter gloss so this is the glittergasm <laughs> in cup of hot and look how pretty this looks hopefully this is as glittery as I want it to be like I want glitter so yeah let's just go oh oh I don't really smell very nice that is a it's almost like a clear wand it's not a applicator Let's, let's zoom you in. Let's zoom in for this. So I zoomed you in so you can see the full impact of that glitter. Look at that. Mother of shit. Oh. Don't really want to get the pink all back in the tube. So I think how they made it like this is just so clever because it is literally a wand like it's not it's a plastic wand like it's no don't for applicator or anything like that oh yeah mm-hmm that's the one that is the one so you obviously you can feel the chunks of glitter which I think I'm okay with just because it's so gosh darn glittery but I think I'm okay with it being like that um because it's not like do you know sometimes we get really gritty glosses like where they're so fine and they've got loads of glitter in it it just feels like literally rubbing like a lip scrub like it's so weird but this like it feel like little bits of glitter but uh, I'm pretty sure I just ate half of it um you don't feel like loads of like grittiness which I don't personally like 
But yeah, I'm impressed. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I think the clicky matte pen's really, really pretty shade as well. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be the last product we test out. So this is the Body Blur. So this is You Glow Girl. So I picked up Glow Fuel and this is a champagne shade. So I am wearing, obviously, a strappy top. So I just want to see... That's what I'm eating half this beer. I just want to see how this looks on. Um, this is only £15 and obviously a lot of companies are coming out with these. Obviously they're really popular in the summer. Um, and I wanted to see what it was like. Yeah. I'm definitely going half that glitter in my mouth. Which I don't like. Um, so this is a gay changing body illuminator. Drenched in light reflecting micro pigment that stays put for hours. You Glow Girl Body Blur is a non-smudge. Oh, I like the sounds of that. Non spudge silky formula which works to smooth imperfection, leaving your skin looking and feeling its golden best. So I'm just going to take this elf stippling brush. Oh, Jesus, that is golden. Wow. I feel like this would look super pretty with a tan. I probably could have gone in with a lighter hand. I feel like these are super popular in the summer. Like some of them are so expensive. Like the Fenty one, pretty sure it's like 42 pound. And I tried it on at Boots. And while it is absolutely gorgeous, like it just goes everywhere. Like I had it on the back of my hand and then like an hour later before I knew it, it was gone. So I was like, yeah, I don't like the fact that it's like non, like it just sort of, it's, it's sticky, you know? Like, we want it to be there for hours. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Can you imagine, like, when the sun hits this? This is going to be beautiful. I love this. Yeah. I also picked up some sheet masks, but I'm not... Actually, I might try this when I take off my makeup. Maybe we'll go in with one. So I have... I got four for fiver. Fiver? Tenner. I can't really remember. So I got two of the flower power, which is hydrating, and then I got the instant detox, which is a cleansing sheet mask. Um, I might try this out like later after I take the makeup off, so we'll give a little quick update on that. But okay, so let me give you a little rundown. I will do a check-in time later just to see how everything wears. But so far, I'm a little bit impressed. So these are stunning like hopefully they look like this on the eyes all day because they are beautiful like <laughs> so beautiful this even though it's got a really funny spray like i look really nice and like dewy and just fresh um so maybe um as a primer it'll be good obviously and say like you just put your powders on and stuff just spray it on a little bit and then go in with the beauty blender but I would not recommend it, say like this is the finishing look, I would not recommend spraying it on just because of like the water droplets and stuff. It's quite thick because it's a jelly. Um, I know it's a jelly spray but I was expecting still watery for some reason. Um, what else? The highlighter, it, it's kind of there and it's kind of not. Like I just, I want to go in with a little bit more. I feel like it's kind of there, but it's kind of not, honestly. I would recommend the Makeup Revolution one over this one. But we'll see how it wears, maybe. By the end of the day, I'm, like, extra dewy for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, this pushy pen. I don't like the fact that it's pushy. That, that does annoy me a little bit. But the shade is really gorgeous. And, yeah, it was super nice. I like... A semi matte i'm not a matte girl never have been don't think i ever will be i'm always a gloss girl so i like that sort of juicy lip already to it so i do recommend this obviously it's not going to last as long as a matte lip it's just that fine to me because i'm not used to things lasting long i'm not impressed with this it's just not juicy enough like i just want it to be juicier it's like my little like look at this compared to like this Where's, where's, the, I wonder how nice with this, could you use this on the face do you think? No let's not do that. Um, and I'm also not really impressed with the neon lipstick obviously because it's just so patchy but it's such a beautiful shade, I'm so upset. And then we have the Glitter Glam, Glitter Glam? Glitter Gasm Gloss. Um, 
Oof. That is a glittery gloss. Damn, damn, damn. Um, obviously, it's not nice that you're getting chunks of glitter in your mouth, but I ain't complaining because it's so beautiful. And this body blur thing, oh, oh yeah. I just want to bathe in this. I think this will look so pretty on tan skin. Um, they do have like three different shades, I believe. So maybe I need like a more pinky shade um, for my fairer skin. But in the summer, like when I self tan and stuff, I feel like it's going to be so beautiful. So that was everything run down. So we're going to do a check in time just to see if everything lives up to its standards. So the check in time is 20 past three. And yeah, we'll do check ins later on just to see how everything lasted. Okay, so the check-in time is 10 to 10. <laughs> okay, so the check-in time is 10 to 10. And everything's looking pretty good. The eyeshadow still looks really, really nice. Really, really sparkly. Really, really golden. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I still got a little bit of the glitter on. Like, I... Obviously, the lipstick's fully like worn off, but the glitter's still showing through a little bit. Obviously, it's not juicy, but it just looks like I've got loads of glitter on my lips, <laughs> which I find quite cute. Um, I'm about to use the face mask, so I'll do a little update once I've got it on and stuff. Um, the jelly highlighter's completely just gone, like there's nothing to it. Um, I'm not really fond of that. I don't know how I feel about the jelly primary thing. I mean, I don't look oily, and this foundation can make me look quite oily. Um, I think it's alright, I'm going to have to give it another go, but I don't know about sitting in the face, like I said, because it just shoots that jelly. Um, but yeah, I'm super impressed with all the little bit. Oh, the golden body lotion. Still golden, hasn't rubbed off, it's not on my clothes or anything. Yeah, I really, really like that. So yeah. Okay, so the face mask has come off, and my skin actually looks pretty nice. It's got like a load of hyaluronic acid and stuff in it, so I was expecting my skin to be like really dewy, really juicy. Um, but it just feels like sort of nice and soft, nice and really clean actually, which I'm surprised because I thought it'd be a bit more hydration. Uh, yeah, and it was actually really nice, sticky as well after, so I think it would be really good for like makeup prep as well. Um, yeah, I'm super impressed with the mask. Obviously, a sheet mask can never do you wrong. So we had some goods and some bads in there. But overall, some of the stuff was, like, really, really good. The gold eyeshadow is so beautiful. It's probably one of my favourite things. But, yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs>